then SAMHSA recently signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, NEPAD, the new partnership for Africa's development. Yes. And in terms of that agreement, you're going to be providing earth observation products and services. That's right. How is the, how is that uh, agreement going to work? So when we signed off on the agreement itself, we agreed that there were two thematic areas that we'll start to focus on immediately, food security and water. And in the MOU, we've agreed that there will be a technical working group between NEPAD and SANSA to understand what the user requirements are. And because we have already got in our pipeline uh, products and services for food security and water at the moment, uh, it's not a case of just taking that and putting it out there in Africa. We need to make an assessment as to what the actual requirements are and whether the products and services need to be reconfigured or refined for those applications. So the technical working group will, will essentially do that assessment. And then once that is done, then we'll put our products and services out there for use by NEPAD. Okay. And is that a co commercial arrangement or is it an open data no, arrangement? No, look, from our side, it's an open data arrangement. Um, so again, we might be limited in some respect. So for example, the spot, uh, we procure spot imagery for South Africa. But we also have a reseller agreement for the SEDEC region and not beyond that. So if we are um, really looking at the licensing agreement, can we look for broader Africa focus? We have access to CBARS, the China Brazil Earth Resource Satellite. And the arrangement is that South Africa will provide the imagery or distribute it to the SEDEC region, uh, working with China. And the rest of Africa will get access to the imagery working with Brazil. And so our footprint is SEDEC. Okay. So if you want to go beyond SEDEC, uh, some other negotiations need to take place in terms of making it open and freely available. But from a SEDEC perspective, uh, the research cloud that I was talking about, it's uh, the, so we're doing it in stages. It's at the SEDEC level and then beyond the SEDEC. Is this the African research cloud? You're the African research about? cloud. Okay. So from an earth observation perspective, interestingly enough, we also identified Let's focus on food security. So we see a neat convergence emerging where the piloting on the research cloud is from an earth observation perspective is on food security. The agreement that we signed with the NEPAD uh, is also on food security. And then if you look at the Africa EU focus, there's also food security. And if you think of other initiatives coming in like GMS in Africa, also food security. So the discussion we've had last week during the conference, on the margins of the conference, how can we find convergence rather than creating duplication in the system? And I think there's a willingness to start working together. So you can have a cloud platform, which is common, but the different initiatives kind of sit on that. And you get applications, products, and services on, let's say, food security, or different sort of tools. Sitting.